very small number of banks who dominate that and they, they extract billions of dollars of profit from the rest of the banks. They sit on the top. You know, when you ask, why is Jamie Dimon, you know, saying things about, uh, I mean, Jamie Dimon, well, actually, Citi is kind of number one, HSBC is probably number two, but JPM is way up there at the top, and they're making a lot of money from other banks. When we go talk to banks, 99.9% .9 of banks, they're like, we want Ripple to be successful, because I'm sick of paying these guys, and, you know, they're taking a lot of money from me that I then have to take from my customer, and why do I want to feed Citi to be more competitive with me in this local market? And if you mentioned Jamie Dimon, so let's bring it back to Jamie and J.P. Morgan. What do you think is going to be the, the, the thing that they will have to change the most or lose market share and somebody else is going to do better, faster, uh, you know, serve their clients better than J.P. Morgan or Goldman Sachs? Can you, can, you can just hear the bankers panicking right now. But what, just what feel the, the panic what's the, in their what's the, voices. What's the but here's the business that oh, is most Well, here's what, here's what always happens. First, the first thing that happens is they try to go, oh, it's nothing. And they did that. I mean, that's with, with every new industry, every new technology comes along. The powers that be, the, the incumbents, the status quo, all say, it's nothing. Don't ignore the man behind the curtain. This is nothing. And then all of a sudden, it's too big to get in there you know they're they're going oh my god i gotta face this thing and then they all line up and they wrap their arms together and they say we're not letting this happen and then it keeps going and then they say okay well let's let's go after let's sue them or let's go get the government. There's another thing or, they do. They adopt the technology. I think. No, no, that's at the end. They will adopt no, the technology. No, this is the last thing they do. No, yeah, it's, like it's the after. Seven it's after. Three, right. Hours. It's after the 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 press planning. They plant the press stories. They put out lawsuits. They create as much of a fuss as possible. They try to get their government friends involved. And then they go, oh, God, this thing's happening. Good morning. It's Thursday, February 9th, 2023 at 8.49 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. So we've got a lot of breaking news to discuss. We've got a lot of talk about a possible Ripple settlement this morning. But what I'm going to show you, and I showed you to start this video clip this morning, Brad Garlinghouse speaking. You've seen Gary Gensler speaking. Um, but it was important for you to understand the basis of that. What's going on this morning, and we're more likely this morning not to have a Ripple settlement. But for them to come out and talk about Kraken, because they were in a very, they're getting hit hard by the SEC, by the Security and Exchange Commission. And today could be the possible announcement of their advanced findings for what's going on with Kraken. So pay attention if you're on Kraken. There's something that could be dropping big today, and it could be in the ruse and guys that it's going to be a ripple settlement. We already know um, um, that James Phelan is writing a, he's going to be, putting in an amicus brief on behalf of Ripple and the holders. So, I mean, there's a lot going on in the Ripple case. So I find it hard to believe to have a Ripple settlement, but that's why you always have a little bit of a bag to the side. Look at me, I'm on candid camera. I took a picture of me. Um, but you, you need to pay attention to that. So we're going to discuss exactly what's going on here. Is there a settlement or is this going to have to do with Kraken or something else? I find it very hard to believe that it's going to be a settlement. So let's get into a little story real quick. And then we'll get into the technical analysis of XRP as the DXY drops back below 103. And XRP still maintains below 40 cents, even this morning. So to maybe give a little credence of what's going on. So last night on Fox, they had a tweet that said there was a possible Ripple settlement today, which that's all horseshit anyhow. So leak reveals SEC will make major announcement today, Ripple settlement. So Fox Business journalist Eleanor, just so you can get a backstory, Eleanor Tourette revealed an explosive leak in tweet yesterday at 10 p.m. Eastern Standard, which could reflect or which could affect the entire crypto industry or allegedly ripple in its legal battle with the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission. 
Turret wrote that she learned from an anonymous source close to the SEC that the U.S. agency will make a big announcement for crypto tomorrow, crypto industry tomorrow. The journalist speculates that the announcement could come out after 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time as the SEC is holding a closed meeting at that time. So my SEC sources tell me to be prepared for a potentially big announcement tomorrow. Could it be something to do with a crack in settlement following a closed meeting at 2 p.m.? Could settlement terms have industry ramifications? We'll see. So Terrett's tweet has sparked speculation about what the announcement might entail. She herself cites a settlement reached by U.S. Exchange Kraken with the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission. So she's citing that this could be settlement news from the U.S. Exchange and with Kraken. Um, between the U.S. Exchange Kraken and then with the U.S. Securities Exchange Commission. So Kraken making a deal. So on Wednesday, it was revealed that Kraken is under investigation for alleged violations of U.S. securities laws. Bloomberg reported that the investigation was in advanced stage, citing an anonymous source. The report stated that a settlement could be reached in the coming days. And then this is where they said, could it be a ripple in SEC settlement? Meanwhile, hopes have emerged in the XRP community, and that's because there's too much FUD in our community, so nobody knows the truth. May have reached a settlement with SEC. The rumor stems from the fact that the SC case against Ripple is fully briefed and now awaiting a decision from Judge Annalisa Torres. Attorney, XRP community attorney James or Johnny Deaton has argued in previous tweets that a settlement is unlikely before the court ruling. Deaton believes the regulator is prepared to fight to the end. However, LBRY's recent partial victory in the past, in the case against the SC may have been a game changer. The SC was forced to admit live on tape that secondary market sales do not constitute security transactions. Still, it remains pure speculation whether the SEC's announcement will revolve around Ripple's case. So in my humble opinion, seeing that Johnny Deaton is making an amicus brief on behalf of like 65,000 or 75,000 XRP holders and that they're trying to dissect every little piece of information and they want it from Ripple on behalf of every single user, even if they're in a country that the securities laws are different and XRP's ruled not a security, they still want each of those individual buyers so this doesn't seem like that's possible to have a settlement today. Um, I would think it's more on the behalf of what's going on with Kraken. I know it's not as widely talked about, but Kraken is in some major, having some major issues right now with the US, uh, U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission. So that's what we have to pay attention to. So I started off the first seven and a half minutes here to straighten everybody out. Make sure to hit that like button too. It would really help push me through the analytics. The DXY sitting at 102 spot 665, which is a nice little drop here today. Is it putting in a topping pattern? Is it doing what we said yesterday and would have to come back down here to 101 spot 84 to confirm this pattern move up? Maybe. It may. It just might be. And the fact that we fell down through this uptrend, it looks like to me, just from you know what we've done overnight, that's not exactly a great sign. So we've come outside of this uptrending support. So now we need to watch. So pay attention to that. And then I want to get into XRP. XRP currently sits at 0.3972. We're, we're above that 0.397 level. That's a very big level for me. It's kind of like a pivot layer for me. It was holding up in the beginning. And then underneath now, we came down yesterday at 3857. But you see, these are always scary because it came down. But then it looks like it might have put in a small bull flag to pull back up. Now we need to see if we break back above the 3992 and ultimately the 40 cents. And then we have to get back above this 4067. And ultimately, it's going to come all the way down here to that 413 level. Your 413 level is going to be that major level. Can we break it? Or are we going to continue getting beaten down by it? If we continue to get beaten down by it, the next real level is way down here at 372. So that would mean 39 cents fails. We break back through. But look, we held a double bottom here on the 386 level. That's something to pay attention to as well. Another thing to pay attention to. It's just that we seem to be forming just this continuous downward move now. So that's something we're going to pay attention to as well as the day goes on. We've got a wick down here. We've got a slightly... And this is what we were talking about yesterday. That we could possibly be... Or a couple days ago. We could be building this pattern that eventually is going to get us over and meet. And it's kind of like a falling channel now, it looks like. So we're going to see. We're going to see if this plays out. We're going to see if we do break back below this 386 and then ultimately come down here to the 372. Or we're going to see if we push back up and we can break back over the 40 cents, ultimately get over this 413 and then push this 432 double top again. That's our choices for XRP this morning. And if we look at it from a weekly time frame so we can take it out from the micro to the macro. 
in the weekly you can see XRP. I mean, it, it, it's depending on which one you look at, we could be looking at a death cross here starting. So we're going to see here. In the weekly, it doesn't look great. It doesn't look great. The 100 still needs to come below the 200. And this still looks like it's got a lot of work to do. Could we come back up? We could have, but we needed to break and hold this 394 level approximately, just based on the weekly. So we're in a very big battle right here. Very big battle. If you want it to break up, the weekly's going to have to hold this 20-day. Uh, and that's about the 395 level. That's why that 395 level is so important. So, so important. You've got to hold that if you want this to continue moving up. And that's in a weekly time frame. The daily time frame, the month or the the hourly time frame, um, they look somewhat okay, but the weekly looks like we have a big sell-off coming if we lose the 20 day. If not, I mean this isn't done yet. This is still out of whack. The hundred should be below the two hundred, and the, so this should be lined up better. The two hundred should be above, and then we'd be ready to kind of move up possibly. But this looks terrible. In the higher time frames, it looks like we're approaching a death cross. Because this is a teaching telegram or a teaching uh, YouTube, and I don't hide behind paywalls, a death cross. I'm going to tell you exactly what that is. A death cross is a term used in technical analysis of financial markets, typically referring to a bearish chart pattern that forms when a security short-term moving average, such as the 50-day moving average, crosses below the long-term moving average, such as the 200-day moving average. This pattern is considered to be a bearish signal, indicating that a downward trend in the securities price is likely to continue. And you can see in the weekly, that's already happened. That's why we pointed firmly to the monthly, stating are we about to have the same type of thing happen as we're starting to have the 50. I mean, the 20 is about to come through the 50. And that's going to be the first sign that something very major is happening here. Very, very major. And it's in such a high time frame that it's going to be very hard to see a 200 day. But you can see right now the 100 day is about to be crossed. Or I mean the 50 day is about to be crossed by the 20. And that would be a bearish divergence, a bearish cross here on the 20 cross and the 50, and that's in the monthly. The weekly's already confirmed that. We've already had the death cross in the weekly long ago. And now we're going to have the 200s come through the 100. It's come through the 50 almost. So, you know, big problems unfolding here with XRP. We need to pull up and we need to do it in a very quick fashion here. Pay attention to what's to come today at 2 o'clock. Just after 2, expect an announcement from the SEC, Securities and Exchange Commission. I anticipate it to be about Kraken. There's speculation that it's about a ripple settlement. I would hold that at about 5%. 65% it's Kraken, 35% something we're not seeing. So that's what I'm looking at this morning. Hopefully this update set you straight. I'm XRP Future Millionaire. If you got anything out of this update, make sure you hit that like button. I'd really appreciate it if you share this for me, whether social media, whether to a friend and family. And then remember, if we do this together, it's very simplistic. If we do this apart, it's very, very broadened and makes it a lot more difficult. Hashtag be better, do better. Hashtag fought assassins. And remember, help one person each and every day. Because if I don't do my part and you don't do your part, what the hell is the point of doing this alone? And if you want to trade XRP like I do, if you want to buy your crypto, your ISO coin spot free and no spot selling fees, take a look at my video description below for the first area is MEXC. No VPN, no KYC in the USA. Futures up to 250X. And you can buy Bit or, uh, XRP and any of your ISO coins, including HBAR, on Maxi with no spot fees and no VPN. You can use BitGap, but in the USA you need a VPN. Um, there's no spot fees on the buy and sell. And there's also the KYC and then uphold. You don't need a KYC or VPN, or you don't need a VPN in the USA, but there's the spot fees on the buy and sell. So I advise you buy your XRP somewhere else, send it over by your XRP ledger. Stay blessed, everybody.